Josh is making like a 17 point turn in the road. Josh is making a seven, like a 17 point turn in the road right now. Took off some power. What's up? Welcome back. So, all right, I'm just gonna say it. Cause I freaking can't like just roll it in. Uh, we got monetized. I got approved for monetization, which is awesome. So I am monetized now. So these videos will be making some money. <laughs> they will, I will be monetized, so we will be bringing in a little bit of money. Thankfully, now like every video is monetized too, besides the Omega videos. On our come up that we did uh those videos didn't get monetized obviously for obvious reasons <laughs> so uh i don't know if we're gonna do any more omegle videos i haven't really thought about it chris is begging me to do them and josh wants to do one but uh, i just haven't really been motivated to do an omegle video so just let me know if y'all want me to do one i might i could do it but we're here today we come back over here to check out the damage because we Josh jumped the car. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude! We didn't really inspect the damage because it was dark. But now we're here today looking at the damage to see what all is messed up on the uh the go-kart. So we know that it's not cranking and we know that the radiator's busted because it was leaking water, and we know the core support is gone non-existent so let's check it out for starters <laughs> for starters you can this is up. uh this is josh this is one of my partners with my youtube channel uh, you all all know josh i'm josh but this is like he is now like one of my partners him and dylan are official partners of the channel for starters you have a wheel <laughs> but not only a normal wheel <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you go to this wheel this wheel is perfectly so straight, straight like straight with the body line and, and everything <laughs> but you go to this wheel <laughs> we've got a little of a lineman issue over here <laughs> and it wobbles so like with the car sitting still it just wobbles around and of course the back's got alignment issues the both the back wheels are facing in uh, course, wow, dude, look at the core support right yeah. here. It is so bad. <laughs> I don't know right to give y'all some sort of, look how f like forward it is. That's insane. I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. Look how, look yeah. how jacked up it is back there. Uh -huh. Oh, dude. This is all gone. There was something here. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> no, I think that was the plastic that fell off. Oh, there was some plastic there? Okay. Yeah. there it was. fell off on the first hit. Huh. Like all this right here was plastic. See, I was wondering what was there because I was like, holy crap, the motor is so exposed right here. Oh, look at that. The uh, wiring harness is tied up in the belt and the axle right here. Or the pulley. Oh, yeah, that could be our issue. That could be why it ain't starting. Let me get my light out so I can... Yes, the wiring harness. Oh yeah, all those wires right there are shredded. That's probably where the, the fuel issue is coming from. Look at that. <laughs> those wires are legit, just absolutely shredded. Yeah, look at this angle. And see, y'all see the, where these dents are in this uh, AC pulley? This is where this piece was hitting before John pulled the whole course board out. <laughs> Here's another part of the wiring harness. Oh yeah, see? That's where I zip tied it to the yeah. AC compressor. So look, y'all can obviously tell, like, look how close everything is toward the motor. It was pretty, it was a pretty big jump. And I think it would take the radiator out and back everything up. It'd be kind of easier to find out the problem. Well, we get that come along out of the gambler, we can hook it up to the, we can actually hook it up to the gambler. Mm -hmm. And then we can pull the radiator support out. Look how just like inward it is. Like that's insane. Come to this side. Surprised it didn't like bust the motor or anything. You can see how far 
up it went up in here because this used to be straight mm -hmm. that's wild yeah our fuel issue has got to be becoming coming from that wire issue there where the wires are all crunched up so basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull this and back it in over there and then pull the gambler in and we're going to hook the come along to it and uh go ahead <laughs> We'll hook the come along to it and Jesus, we're hung on something. And pull the core support out. As you seen earlier, I'm not the best at three point turns. <laughs> Whenever we was leaving the house, I did like a 17 point turn in the middle of the road. <laughs> I got one side of it out. The whole thing was ripped off anyways from the get-go. What? Said so it was all ripped off from the get-go anyways. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. It was dismantled. <laughs> Come up. Yeah, you, you knocked it out a lot. No, you broke a chain link. The the homemade chain. Oh, the homemade link. Yeah, the homemade link. Okay, I thought it was a lot worse than that. I did too. <laughs> I was like, dude, he just broke the whole bolt. <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> this right here is probably more safer than anyways. <laughs> How much more do you want out of it? Just for a suggestion, this was not our doing. This was a homemade piece. Somebody had tried to weld this piece in to keep it as a link in that chain. It obviously did not work. How far out are we? Holy crap, I ain't never seen it this far out. I'll give it, I'll give it a couple more tugs just to get it out of the way. That way we can Maybe not like super hard anymore either. That's good. That's good. I'm pretty sure that's good because it's out as far as the other side now. <laughs> I can see daylight over yeah. here now. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably chop it here and here on these corners and then chop it down here. And these broke pieces of the core support, which are kind of just in the way, we're gonna chop those off too on each corner. And we're gonna go from there. And I think we're gonna put a skid plate on it. That's kind of like in the future, just for now, we're just gonna try and get everything out. But this is all bent up and kind of in the way now, cause it's just, like every time we jump it, it just moves closer to the motor. So we're trying to get all this out of the way. So we put a skid plate and we're gonna mount the radiator a little bit higher than what it is right now. That way it doesn't touch the ground or anything. And uh, we're gonna go from there. First and foremost, always use your safety equipment, gloves, whatever. If you're using any type of ointments, glasses, for anything that gets in your eyes. This is just a disclaimer, we are uh, on a professional level of this, we've been doing this a very long time, uh, many years. Just this sort of stuff, even when we wasn't filming, we was doing this. Anytime that you're 
jumping vehicles or doing anything like that, always wear your helmets, your seat belts, or your safety harnesses, whatever you've got. And just make sure that you go about it in a safe manner. And when you're working on the vehicles, like he said, use your safety equipment like your glasses, your gloves, your boots, anything that you know you need to work on. Safety. Like even if it's involving cutting and stuff like that, just make sure you use your safety equipment. And if anything's moving, belts, fans, make sure the car's off or you're not gonna go to that exact location. Back to the video. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're at on the car. We've got the whole front end off. So now what we're gonna do is just put a bar from that cross member to this part right here. And then the radiator's gonna, we're gonna build some brackets for the radiator to sit there and kind of angled. And we're gonna put fans on it. And yeah, should be back to jumping normal stuff very soon. Back to 110 percent. 110. And Josh showed up. <laughs> we didn't show all this being taken off because there's a sawzall there so you can imagine. <laughs> and there's the bumper. Yeah here's all the pieces. That side was already broke and we had to break that side. But there's a condenser in the old radiator. And we have a new radiator for it. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. So that's just an update on the car. We don't get to take it to prom, Dad. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly videos and also turn notifications on to get that video when it comes out.